The Public Health Agency of Canada confirmed media reports just before Christmas that it had secretly accessed location data for 33 million mobile devices to monitor the movement of Canadians during COVID-19. That number represents roughly 87% of the population who were spied on without any knowledge that the government was accessing their data. Public Health Agency of Canada officials were forced to admit this had occurred after a request for proposal was published with a call for interest in continuing a program of collecting data for up to five more years. New and exclusive public health documents reveal the feds have a plan to track your cell phone location data for far more than just COVID. They could use it for any infectious disease they want to, except if you are a citizen of the EU, then... Privacy rules apply to you inside of Canada. Today, I'll show you the evidence. The Public Health Agency of Canada's cell phone surveillance program was first reported by us here at Rebel News after we noticed a request for interested contractors to extend an existing cell phone data scoop was posted on the government's online contracts and procurements website. It's a website we check quite frequently. So we started digging and doing the boring, but I think important work of filing for access to information to learn more. We wanted to know who was being contracted to surveil Canadians using cell phone data and what cell phone providers were profiting off their unwitting customers' data by selling their locations to the feds. We do this all through your support of our access to information and research fund at rebelinvestigates.com. So here's what we were able to previously turn up. Blue Dot was the company founded by the University of Toronto's Cameron Kahn. That company provided data from cell phones and other devices to the Public Health Agency of Canada. The aggregated data included users' visits to points of interest like parks, grocery stores, hospitals, long-term care centers, and retirement facilities. In addition, Blue Dot analyzed data obtained from cell providers containing information from devices traveling from the United States to Canada. Now, previous exclusive access to information filings by us here at Rebel News uncovered telecom giant TELUS as one of the vendors selling backdated cell phone location data to the public health agency to assist the agency in monitoring for compliance and a change in user behaviors after the imposition of COVID-19 restrictions. Hi, I'm Tyler from TELUS. And I'm here to give you three of the top tips to help move you towards a more secure, private, and friendly future. TELUS was paid $200,000 to provide customers' location data retroactively all the way back to 2019. But now I can tell you even more. These public health voyeurs didn't just want cell users' data for COVID tracking. Take a look at these new exclusive access documents. Page two, surveillance wasn't just for COVID. Public Health hired Blue Dot to use mobility data to track whatever other diseases they felt like, including seasonal flu. Here it is. Public Health Agency of Canada, or PHAC, will retain the services of Blue Dot to provide the department with mobility data and analysis as it relates to the COVID-19 pandemic. In addition to this, Blue Dot's services will be extended to support other infectious diseases where applicable as requested. These data are particularly relevant to other respiratory pathogens, including seasonal influenza, which may see a resurgence following the COVID-19 pandemic. Huh. Public Health here also blacked out all the details on the length of the contract with Blue Dot. We cannot see how many, quote, additional months they'll be using your cell phone tracking data. On page 11, Something we already knew, but we see it in writing. From the start of the pandemic, they were using cell phone data to track people. Since April 2020, as the COVID-19 pandemic was emerging in Canada, the Public Health Agency of Canada leveraged analysis, intelligence, using location data obtained from mobile devices. Those creeps. And we know from prior access filings that TELUS was backdating, as I previously mentioned, tracking data to before the pandemic so that the public health snoops had a baseline of your activity to compare. On page 20, the contract terms included possible health agency requests for tracking people to see if they were quarantining for 14 days, and they would do this, again, via cell phone data. 
Page 21, public health wanted Blue Dot to track social distancing too. Here it is. Blue Dot will work collaboratively with the federal health officials to iterate on questions relating to physical distancing, self-isolation at home. Blue Dot will prioritize the addition of vaccination data and gatherings data, these weirdos. Page 85, public health insisted Blue Dot had to exclude any data from Europeans coming to Canada because of EU privacy rules. Nice to know our government cared more about the privacy rights of EU citizens than, say, Canadians. For Rebel News, I'm Sheila Gunn-Reed. This story was made possible through your generous crowdfunded donations. To support our research and access to information filing, please make a visit to rebelinvestigates.com. And thank you in advance for your support of our independent journalism.